Hey guys, so I have some haul items to show you. I feel like the camera is like really bright right now, but it's fine. So if you guys can hear also Bennett in the background, he's like watching his iPad really, really loud. I think he just has it on and he's playing in his room, but I don't want to go in there and like mess up his groove because I will not have the five minutes to film. So the first shirt that I have here, I don't remember where any of these are from, but I'll try and link them down below because there was no like invoice with them because I think they were just like drop ship but I just think they're so cute so since this please stand clear of me so like obviously like COVID inspired and this one says personal space mountain it says keep back six feet I'm gonna need you to blast off and I thought that was really cute so these are obviously like Disney inspired so those are from the same place they're really soft Bella canvas shirts which are like the nicest and then I think this one's Bella canvas too yeah and then this one here is a like together princess shirt which I thought was so so cute this one you could pick like the color these are not like um they're not like what's the word they're like printed on not screen printed but I think they look really really cute and I cannot wait to wear them so I picked the pink I think the pink might have been what they showed the um the like example in. and I'm pretty sure that this one in particular was also like 50% of the proceeds went to charity or something like that but I thought this was really cute as like a princess shirt and I don't have any shirts with like actually I have a couple shirts with like many princesses on it but not that many and then I also have some items in from a couple of different shops here the first one I'm not even sure what it's for because I oh pastel forest shop I think it's die cuts and pins maybe I have a couple of outstanding um pin and like vinyl orders mostly pins because there are a lot of them were pre-orders oh I actually have a kickstarter that I backed that I need to like choose a thing for so I keep forgetting so I did get some pins and then some die cuts make sure this is in my invoice okay so they are on Etsy so there's that so cute and I did get some of their stickers and they do have like a hollow um like overlay on them so you have flurry and then maple which I did kick maple off my island I think she's like a basic bee and then there's meringue chief tutu flora which I'm actually gonna think I'm gonna send this to Jessica because she loves flora now and then also Marshall so cute and then I also did get some pins from them. So you have Dom looking so dang cute, like the cutest Dom pin ever. Actually, Kanish just sent me a Dom pin and I ordered it and that might be the cutest one ever. And then, oh, this is actually for Kanish just, I'm gonna send this to her. I hope I remember sending it to her before I put up the video, but if not, this is coming your way. Oh God, so cute. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know why everyone likes them though, but whatever and then you have the little nook boys because they look in cute and i like that there's glitter in here because it just makes it even cuter i really love the dom one but there i mean the raymond one is cute but like look at dom he's sweet so those are the pins that i got and the stickers that i got then i also placed an order with pumpkin paper co she had new wizard stickers and i did order wizard customs so there's that so it does come with a little card which i'll send that to get in his chest because you know bangs little thank you no and then I did get some of the wizard stickers so I really like that she did wizard custom she also did Disney customs but also did like a mixed sheet so you could pick the hair color and then it was just kind of a mixed sheet of like different um, outfits and animals and accessories so I did pick the Slytherin with the dark brown hair or brown hair I'm not sure if there's a difference but if there was I'd pick dark so that is what that looks like and I just love everything so I did get two of them. I also got the Thestrals. I don't know like what I would need a whole sheet of these for, but like one in Rome. And then the little, um, I guess these are like dolls. And then the other dolls. And then I also did get, I don't remember. Okay, I think more as, more as Harry Potter stuff. There's this one which just has like treats. And then this one has little animals, but I think they were also like the plush options. So it has like the deco that's in the background, I think, of the like customs like on the walls. I think these are all on there, which again is really cute. And then I got these, I think, I'm trying to think of why. I think, 
yeah so I wanted to get some stickers I think I had gotten these in brown hair before but I wanted to get stickers to kind of like mark friend things and I thought that these like outfit ones I think that these are the summer outfit ones possibly would be good for marking friend stuff so this is the brown the black hair and this is the blonde hair and then I already have the brown hair so that covers like pretty much all of my friends hair colors actually it covers all of my friends hair colors so I thought that that really worked out because I have a lot of friends with black hair and then I have I think just one blonde hair friend Jessica so um that is the summer like option and then I also got these to mark stuff of Jessica too just because I thought that like Disney stuff like if Jessica's birthday or something would be really cute I don't know why I bought two so I might actually I like send Jessica stuff sometimes too so I'll just send that one to Jessica I might actually yeah I think I will because I think that that kind of makes sense because I don't think I need two of them because there's quite a variety on here already but I also did that recently with a stick the, stick with the plan co order is I ordered um like the Disney balloons I wish everybody had more birthdays so that I can mark like more stuff I ordered more of the Disney balloon like stickers to mark people's birthdays and I ordered them again in blonde black and brown hair because I thought that that would be cute to mark as well so I do have an order in here from once more with love and there's like a funny story to this so first there's the card which I think I have this card a couple of times now and then there was some freebies in here and then I'll go into my order so the first freebie is just the regular freebie which this is the July freebie this is the like guess the baby which I, I've known what the baby's um sex is for I think since my birthday week it's actually like one of the things I put in the sidebar that I blocked out. So if you don't know, I do. And then there's also the bookmark, which is really cute. I think Sam of Happy Scrappy made these for Mark. And I'm like, yes, so cute. So I love this. And then there is the milestone cards, which I did not order the like hundred or whatever dollars. So when I opened this, I was like, what the hell? Mark knows I'm not having any more kids. Like I'm not getting pregnant ever again. And I was like, what is going on? And I also know that Mark doesn't normally fill orders. So I was like, did, who threw these in my order? And she's like, oh, did you have a hundred dollar order? I was like, no. She's like, oh, well, I told Tina, my manager, that you're a VIP. And I'm like, Tina's never thrown anything in my thing. And she's like, let me ask Tina. So she asked Tina and Tina's like, oh no, your mom was filling orders that day or like packing the orders. So Marg's mom put these in because she wants me to have another baby. Marg's mom loves my kids and thinks that they're so cute, especially Theo because he's so fat. And I just love Marg's mom and I just want to like hug her. But like, no, I'm not having more kids. So, well, I'm not getting pregnant with any more kids. So this is my actual order. I just thought that that was hilarious because I opened it and I was like, Marg, are you serious? But actually it was Marg's mom. So that's even better. So I did order these Munchkin um, greeting cards and these are like baby related ones. And I'm actually going to use one like whenever Marg gives birth I'm gonna like send her one of these I think that's kind of funny to like send her one of her own cards with like a message written inside and also just kind of like then she can save it because like I saved all that kind of crap too so that is the card so it says babies poo a lot and you'll hardly get any sleep but congrats anyways Mark needs her sleep too that girl like can sleep congratulations on your baby munchkin they're all blank inside which is nice so you can write your own little thing and then this one says congrats and says who needs sleep anyways I like that two of them are based around sleep because I think that's what Mark's like the most worried about is like sometimes babies don't sleep unless you have like Theo who sleeps all the time then I have some um, I think these were all new releases. So the first one here is the popcorn doodle. I love her food doodles. I think they're the best. And then also the s'mores. I'm gonna be re I'm going to be showing you guys. I redid. Oh my god, my character sticker storage. Look at this thick ums. Okay, hold on, let me zoom out. Okay. So first of all, Dom. Second of all. I got a bigger binder, rip the uh, sparkly ones because I feel like they were iconic. I still have them and I'm probably going to use them for something in my lifetime because I feel like they were a big part of my life. But this is so fat. I got like a, I don't know, a 12 inch binder to put my characters in and I do have an outdoor section now. But I just love my new storage and I'm going to put stickers all in the front of it because I think that'd be really cute. Actually, again, Kenish just gave me that idea. And then also, I'm going to put my um, foiled icons in this one, which is lavender. I got them on Walmart. I'm going to see if I can find a blue one because I feel like that would kind of match the look I'm going for. But that whole, like, segment was based on, like, I have an outdoor section, so that would be perfect 
for this there's also cornhole which I honestly like I don't sometimes I'm like Marg like where where did you get this idea I don't know like I don't even know if Marg's ever played cornhole but you know cornhole but I was like maybe one day I'll be like doing something and play cornhole I don't know and then there's eyes on you which I thought was really really funny because I feel like these ones look kind of mad and then these ones look kind of like peeking like or like if you want to be mysterious in your planner and like hint at something that'd be really cute Sorry again if you can hear about it stuff in the background. I'm really hoping that you can't. And then there's also the salty ones and then the narwhal ones, which I thought were really cute. I'll probably put these in the animal section, though I don't really know when I would use them, but they'd be cute for like maybe a baby shower or something. But I just feel like Mark has been killing it with releases. She has like some really cute stuff coming up, and I'm like super excited about all of it. So that's everything for this little haul Porsche haul portion haul portion here. So I'm currently putting stickers away and I just got in a once more with love order and then some other orders and I just figured I would show you guys um, just because then I can like put the stickers away rather than like cleaning up my whole desk to just redo it all. So I did get an order in from once more with love Marg. She also sent me the funniest sweatshirt. I did post a picture of it online but it just says, let me show you. It's so funny. It's so funny. Hold on. Isn't that hilarious? It's very me. Very, very me. So she sent me that. She also sent Bennett some cereal, which is so funny. She always sends Bennett food. And then um, she knows the way to his heart. So let's see what I ordered. I did get the same journaling card as last time, I think. And then I did get the July freebie. And then I did get the Onward stickers. I did actually have Marg send me the file for these whenever they were on the freebie the month that Onward came out. It's the last movie that I saw in theaters. I don't even know what like the next movie I'm going to see in theaters is, which is so sad. And I did make a little sheet of those and I've actually put them in like the brothers section. So I'm probably gonna put these into my Disney binder, which I do plan on doing a new video showing you guys my new character sticker organization just because like it's definitely had a glow up. I also got the shaved ice stickers. I thought those were really cute for when we go to Hawaii. The throwing up stickers, which I haven't thrown up in a while, but like when I do, I'm always like, what sticker do I use? The tornado. I don't think like we really, we, I think we got like a tornado here once, but it like missed us. And then also before that was like in the 90s. So I don't know like how often Austin gets tornadoes, but I thought this could be more like in the negative emotion section. Then I also got these zoo animals, which I did actually make myself a animal like section because I noticed that I had a lot of animal stickers. Um, also the PJs all day, which I think I'll definitely use these quite a bit, probably for marking tired, less PJs all day. And then also these owl stickers, which I'll probably put under animals, the make it rain. So the stripper icons, her doodles, her munchkins or whatever. And I think I have the original version of these under my travel location section because I use those for like Vegas. And then the Bingsu Shaved Ice. So I guess I'll probably put that under, like, I'll probably actually put those under Sweet Food. And then, er, I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to think about those. And then also Power Out, which actually is perfect because the power went out the other night and it was so hot. Um, so I'll definitely be using those. I also did place an order with Odd Loop. And I got some sticker sheets as well as some vinyl stickers. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. I did get, like I said, two sticker sheets. So this one here is the first one. I don't really know if there was like a theme or name. So I think it's just two different sticker sheets. And I honestly kind of want to go back and order more just because these are so cute. They're a little bit too big for, I think, like what I would use them for unless I use them in like a half box. Um, so I would love, honestly, like a mini sheet of these. That'd be like so cute. But I definitely will be using these in my planner as well as this sheet, which is so cute. Ugh, I hate this guy. He's so annoying. He never gives me anything good after like going and getting all of his little ghosts, which there is five, which is so cute. Ugh, I do love it all. It's so cute. I love it. I would definitely like, I'm definitely going to order more because I always want to have one to hoard. And then I did order a bunch of Animal Crossing inspired vinyls. So there is the little reds, no refund, which is so funny. There's another reds one too. I think it was, or maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, the little cousins discount one, which is so funny. 
And then there is the Dodo Airlines Frequent Flyer, which I did get two of those. Um, they'd be really cute in like the pocket of a cloud if you were doing like a little Animal Crossing setup. What would Dodos do? Leafs Potting Mix, Home Buying for Dummies, A Guide to Being Forever Alone, which is hilarious for Tom Nook. There's Ketchup. I don't have any of these. These are like kind of more popular I guess and I guess like kind of easy to theme to things uh villagers but I don't have any of these but I just thought they were really cute so I picked them up um another one of these leaf ones I think that's the same one right because I just thought it was really cute another one of those there is the ribbit uh motor oil the tangies oj the tia t and then the kid cat so I thought those were really cute and I love odd loops animal crossing stuff and they're also coming up coming out with a um up collection soon which i'm really really excited about there'd be another one that i might actually use in my planner maybe for nick and i's um anniversary which i think next year is 14 years i also did pick up some vinyls i don't remember again what the shop name is but i'll link it down below it's the same shop that i got that shirt from they also did have vinyls so i did pick up three of these just because i thought they were really really cute um i'm probably gonna put one of these on one of my my sticker binders and then like hoard the other ones and then I also did pick up the part of that world because I'm going to actually send this to Jessica and then I also picked up this Dole Whip churro sticker and I just thought it was really cute and I just had to have it so that is everything for that little portion of the haul okay I'm here with another messy desk haul but I had to show you guys this stuff okay I'll go over the Randy Dow plans after but my friend Allie she's like Carson's friend but she's not my friend um made me these dashboards that are 90 day related and I am so dead. So one says I work so much work. It's just like 90 day has the most quotable stuff and it's like out of context kind of makes like no sense but like whenever you've watched 90 day like all of this is hilarious. You have the end and then there is the almost there lazy oh my god iconic and then this is actually my favorite one stay strong stay strong and this one's so funny. Ugh, Darcy is hilarious. She's like one of my favorite like hot messes ever and I just love these and if Allie wants to make like all of the 90 day fiance dashboards I would buy them. They cute. They cute. So thank you Allie if you are watching that is super adorable. I'll leave her Instagram 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 link down below for you guys and then I also have an order in from randy.plans and y'all know I love this shop so there's the little like business card there is the august freebie there is the august freebie i think she threw in two august three august freebies for me are these like oh these are all different options so maybe you just get one of these and she just threw them in i'm not sure so these are just different on like white matte paper freebies and then she also threw in one of my freebies so if you use my coupon code and buy a custom you get a random foiled um freebie of mine so they say buy more stickers work Family Cuddles with My Love, I'd Rather Die, 90 Day, Animal Crossing, and Tired AF. And the Sparkly Hollow is so pretty. She did add Sparkly Hollow to the shop, which I am really excited about. So I did pick up a bunch of different stuff. I picked it up in all four foils. You can see I have four sheets in each. She actually just had a sale today and had some new releases, so I had to pick up everything and... Not everything actually, but a bunch of stuff and then some customs. And then I realized I actually didn't have a Tiki or a Chewy's custom. So I need to go back and order more. <laughs> so I did get these customs, which actually Starbucks Reserve was on the like, I if I couldn't think of another like option, I would get those. So Starbucks Reserve, family photos, and I'd rather die. And then I did get the Cuddle Time one, which I did get some of these in... I believe a like grab bag and I've already used like half a sheet of gold already and then I also did get the cereal lover mostly because Bennett loves cereal I loved cereal when I was pregnant with Bennett but with Theo I didn't really care about cereal but I just figured one in Rome and then also sandwich Nick is a big big sandwich connoisseur and I do like sandwiches I just had Panera today not the most fancy of sandwiches but so whenever I order from Randy.plans, I do get silver. I get the, I believe it's light gold. I'm going to say it's light gold. And then the hollow. 
and then also the sparkly hollow and I just really love like I always say that she has like different kind of um, like if you take for example snuggle there's snuggles cuddles time for snuggles cuddle time and time for snuggles so you get like a lot of variety because noticing whenever I was like working on my script storage that I would have like a sheet maybe even bigger than this of just one script and I was like in each foil that's a lot that's like a lot a lot so I like having like a variety to kind of be able to use different ones like let's say for this one I wanted to put in multiple cuddles in a week I have like you know one two three four five six options or at least five so it's like a lot of different options on there in the foils um and then I also really love her customs because like like again same thing you could pick three different phrases and put them on there so then you don't have like a full sheet of let's say family photos on here there's one two three four five six and then there's two different sizes so I think that's like the perfect amount in that foil color so really love randy.plans and again I do have a coupon code because I feel so cool because I have a coupon code like my first ever like PR freebie coupon code and I am here for it so I just wanted to show you guys this stuff because like it's super cute so see you in the next part you know it's a good day whenever you have this much happy meal but I'm honestly in the best mood in a really long time I got really good news today that removed a stress from my life that's been a stress for like a year and a half and I just want to film all the dang things so let's go ahead and show you guys all the stuff so first thing I have here is from little sin sews and I know I said Sue's last time pretty sure that I've also read that like sews as Sue's like long time ago on my channel and I always feel like a dum-dum but probably gonna save this because it's really cute and I actually still have this bag to send to Carolyn and I'm probably gonna like save it because like it's a really cute bag and I can definitely use it to send more stuff in um so I did get another order in from this shop I really love their little pouches and they always have like Disney themes which I am totally here for showed me a little note which is really cute and then there was some clips in here which are really pretty they're like a fire rainbowy sunset kind of vibe um then there's also two journaling cards in here so it looks like they just have the same thing on the other side but they just have some little girls here which are super cute and spooky love those i'm actually send those to carolyn too because i feel like they're very her vibes but i did buy myself two pouches and then i also did buy kirsten a pouch and let me see i guess it's just a little bright but it's fine Ooh. So they're always wrapped, which feels like you're getting kind of like a little present, which is nice. Like everything's so beautifully like assembled. So the first thing here is this little felt bow, which is super cute. And then, oh, I guess you could totally put these bows on the zipper. Okay. Anyways, let me zoom out a little bit for this clip. I did get the like parks bag. Honestly, don't know what I need with this many pouches, but like whenever I can travel again, which hopefully is like a thing that I can do in my lifetime, I'm definitely going to be using these for like organizing all the boys stuff, but I just thought this one was really cute. I love the hand drawn vibe and all of the different, um, oh, this is Disneyland. All of the different, um, is it Disneyland? Yeah. Right. All of the different rides that are I'm confused because I feel like that looks more like the Disney World castle but anyways I love it so much and I just think it's so pretty I love also the Haunted Mansion stuff that's kind of like mixed in hey where was it here oh yeah all here <gasps> so cute so love that love that then I also did get this one for myself which again I don't know what I'm gonna do with but it was oh there's another one Came with another one did they all come with these little felt bows yeah they did they all kind of match too so i wonder if you're supposed to like use these as little like bag charms so this one is a different size so normally i think i pick the like b6 size because it's like the biggest one but i think i picked this one in more of like a makeup pouch size because i didn't know what i was going to do with it but this one is obviously like an animal crossing inspired one it's so cute i love eric Eric is so funny. I think that's honestly the only villager I have on this print. I wish Dom was on here because he's so cute. Mm, yeah, that's all the only villager I have on here. But I thought it was so adorable. The inside's yellow and it's kind of like a little bit more of like a, it looks more like a makeup pouch kind of thing. 
I don't know what I'm going to use it for again, but I have like a FOMO type situation with these because they do also sell out. So I need, and then I also picked up this one for Kirsten. I think this might have been in stock since her last release and it didn't sell out. And I was going to purchase it alone, but I was like, eh, I don't know. And I was like, you know, I'm sure she'll have a release soon. And then if it's still available, it's meant to be. And it was still available. So I did purchase this for Kirsten. I love the colors in this. I have, um, a, I think it's a Disney one, right? Or is it a Haunted Mansion? A Haunted Mansion one. The colors are just so vibrant. It's kind of insane. Like the fabric that they pick is just so amazing. A black zipper and then the inside is striped. So I thought that Kirsten would really like this. Um, and I don't, I'm just going to probably just give it to her because like we don't need an excuse to like give a present, do we? To people that we love and care about. Then I also did get a shirt. I don't remember what the brand of this is because I don't think it had like a, oh no, it was like by Kai or something. Cause it's funny because I got a, um, a Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss set and it was like Kylie Cosmetics and then also by Kai were like out for delivery on the same day. I thought that was funny. So this is a Haunted Mansion shirt and this girl, um, no, this person, she uh, does do like all different kind of like this style stuff. Uh, like it's just like all different items. And I think they have like Haunted Mansion. They might have like Friends. I feel like for some reason I want to say Friends. Maybe some other Disney ones. But I really love this one. And I always feel like such a little poser because I honestly don't like Haunted Mansion as like a ride. But I love Haunted Mansion as like an idea. Does that make sense? I think I mentioned that in my spread. I don't know which one will come out first. But I just thought this was really cute. Um, it's on the like Bella Canvas shirts, which I feel like most dropship companies use those and i really really like it so super excited about that and i definitely will be keeping an eye on what they come out with next i also did get a little happy mail package from cynthia of wonton and a million she sent me a little like care package which was super super cute so let me go ahead and show you guys what she sent this is so cute okay um, so obviously I just had a baby. Theo is four months old. She wrote me a really, really cute little card that I'm definitely going to be saving with like all of Theo's like cards and stuff. This was the little card and I love the green. I love like green for Theo, green and yellow. I'm just like a big fan. So it's just cute because this worked out and it's so funny. She sent me a six to 12 month and I'm kind of interested because I haven't like looked at it, but Theo is a thickums, <laughs> like a real thickums, like real, real thick. So I'm interested to see if he's going to fit this, but I'm definitely going to, even if he doesn't fit it like fully out though. Yeah, he should fit this like just now um i'm gonna definitely put this in on him and then get a picture to send to cynthia because like he's gonna look hilarious every day i'm dumpling and he's like just full of rolls like i think if you tried to count theo's rolls i don't know if anybody like is able to count that high but i thought that was really funny because theo is such a chunker we actually just ordered him well actually all of our Halloween costumes we're doing a family costume this year we're not even like going trick-or-treating and we're not like I don't even know if we're gonna end up having like a party we might have a party with like two people but I don't know um but we'll definitely still like dress up in Halloween costumes so then there were some dashboards which are really cute I'll probably actually put these like in his little baby box and like maybe like do something with the back of them or use them for crafting they would be really cute to like put in art prints if you were wanted to do something like this for like a nursery themed if you had like these colors going or something but they are super cute or you can use them as like flat cards I think this would be really cute kind of like attached to like a gift bag and then you can write like the card message on the other side these are really nice like um like a card stock and like really nicely printed there's also these circle like i don't know if they're stickers or not i i never did this stuff with my kids with bennett i tried to do weekly pictures i do believe these are stickers yeah these are really cute i think i might honestly save these and gift them to somebody eventually because i just i'm not having another kid i just not doing it but they are really cute and it's definitely a little too late to start this but they are cute so i'll go ahead and show you guys what they look like they're super cute they'd be really cute actually they might be really cute for a baby book so i'm gonna save them if i ever decide to like do baby books honestly i'm just bad at it it honestly starts to feel like homework to me to do like baby books I don't know. I feel like with like phones and stuff, like I'm like more apt to like go through my phone and like find like different stuff. Like when Marg sent me, Marg has like cards. I don't know where I put them. They're over there. But um, Marg's mom like sent me cards because she's a troll. And um, it was like, oh, maybe I'll do have more kids. No, I'm not doing it. Um, but 
was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. I don't know, whatever. Um, but I have both of them, and I am not using them. So then this is the stickers. So these are super cute. I don't know if she had, like, different... I guess this is, like, kind of, like, multi. And then the green is neutral, right? This is cute. Okay. So this is, like, a little kit. So there's the stickers in the front. Super cute. I like the bill. Because I just assume, like, whenever you get your, like, hospital bill, that's what, what like, you look like. Some headers. Some date covers. Date dots. A little weekend banner, I assume. A little, like, throwing a baby up in the air. And checklists. I said dumpling. LOL. That's so funny. Oh, it's so cute. It's, like, a little, like, onesie. You have your um, over here checklists, your check boxes, some more check boxes and like quarter boxes, and then some more boxes here. So that's super cute, a little mini kit there, and then also some washi. So I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna open this fully. So there is a little dim sum with like the classic looking blocks. There's this here, which is like petal stickers. So these are basically like, it looks like a washi, right? Like you could totally lay that out if you wanted to, but that's like a lot of the stickers. Um, so these are basically like individually cut washi stickers, which are really cool. I know Cynthia does do these quite often with her different characters and stuff. These are so cool. It's very aesthetic when it's rainbow. So they're like just little washi stickers, which is really cute. So that is the second row and then the third row is silver foiled and it has the little squad as babies which is super cute so love that love that love that love that so that's going over there and again that is her montan in a million i do have an order in from sadie stickers it's funny because i actually have this CD stickers, I have a tab open on my computer because I need to order from Rose Color Days. I have a, um, a alarm set for her next release. So I'm like in a shopping mood. Everyone's releasing stuff this week. Um, I think I texted uh, Jessica from Letters to Apollo and I was like, bruh, I need to order your stuff too. Like I need to order everybody's stuff. And everyone's just releasing such good stuff. And I'm like, Halloween, yay, I'm excited. And then Christmas, I'm just screwed because like I'm gonna buy buying everything. So I did order quite a bit of the Sadie stickers. Um, Halloween stuff, you do get your little freebie here. And then I also did just get like Halloween releases, right? So I remember when I was ordering this, I was like, be realistic, Andrea, be realistic. And now I'm like, I don't remember what I did. All right, so these are cute. I'm glad she's like utilizing this area. You could totally just put that on a full box. Like there are two different strips, but it's so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these are cut in half. I really love this design, by the way. They're not like, I feel like maybe last year her spider rubs were way bigger. So they like, they kind of looked more like this on here but I really like this if I remember correctly like don't quote me because like I'm kind of dumb so these are the fifth, like they're like split in half you know I'm pretty sure she had the option to have like the full ones but I'm just like lazy so this really works for me so I did only buy gold and hollow um which actually works because I think the kits that I wanted to use these with are gold and hollow and then oop and then I also did get some of the quote boxes. So I have like quote boxes in my shop. I have quote boxes from years past. Like quote boxes I'm releasing this year. I have quote boxes from last year from my shop. I have quote boxes from years past from other shops. I have these quote boxes. I'm going to be ordering the letters to Paula quote boxes. I need to start using GD quote boxes because like we're going to have so many quote boxes that it's going to be kind of insane. So here are my favorite ones. So I was like I'm going to get these in both of the foils that I wanted to do you know these spreads with like matching um not sure why because I like I'm gonna use other foils so I could have like bought other ones but I was just figuring like I have other options so I'm trying to like be realistic because my like Halloween and Christmas stacks from years past are kind of like stupid they're kind of like very full and then I just got these in silver because I was like all right I got those in those foils and I was like I'm just gonna grab these in silver because like yeah, I just I couldn't not get them but like I didn't want to get them in these foils because I was like I'm trying to like be more realistic but also like at the same time like am I realistic I don't know I also did get these in gold silver and hollow so I just think I don't know like what it is but for some reason this design in particular on everything just looks so like crisp and like really like I don't know what it is it just looks really good um 
so you have the these are on like premium matte paper and i just think they're beautiful like really dainty maybe that's what it is i don't know but they're beautiful and then i also did get the like i don't know what these are called i'm just gonna put them on full boxes a lot of these use these as like mandalas or mandalas or whatever where they put them like I think that's what most of the designs are of them where they're just like half boxes and people put them like under boxes as decoration but personally I'm just gonna probably like plop these on like some full boxes and like corners and stuff and like trim them and just make them look cute you know maybe cut them like this and then use them as corners I thought it'd be fun to experiment with so I got all three um I did get oof, I did get four of each of the headers I don't know which video is going out first but I did use Sadie's stickers leopard as like a bougie alternative and this will actually last me probably like one and a half spreads if i do them with like half if i half cut them which i do show it in this spread so that is my leopard spread so i did get them in gold and the hollow i don't know if i'm gonna use them like I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Honestly, like, I have to figure out my life because, like, everyone's releasing more Halloween stuff this week. And I really need to know, like, what I want to purchase. So, I don't know, like, what I'm going to do with what foil. And then I know people are still releasing stuff. So, I honestly don't know. And then I also got these as corners. So, I have those. And then I got the bats as headers because I do like using Sadie's stickers, like, these, like, deco. I'm going to call them deco headers as, like, on the sidebar, like, using two of them. So, I have those. I feel like I have something, maybe pumpkins from last year or something like that, but, oh, Sadie's stickers always be killing it. She always be killing it. I feel like she has, like, the most foil releases. Like, it's just insane. So, I do also have an order in from Lauren of Rose Colored Days. You guys know I love Lauren. Like, lots, lots, lots. Like, oh, like a lot a lot so i did buy some stuff from lauren i placed an order so i did get the september in in hollow um journaling card and then i also did get the little rose gold um like business card and then i also did get the gold um full box overlays and then I did make two, this purchase for two different things. So the first thing that I wanted to pick up is for my script storage. And I did pick up these. So these are B6 size. Or no. They're not B6 size. I think they're maybe person. I honestly don't remember. Sorry, Nick's texting me. I don't remember what size I picked these up in, but I remember texting Kane and I was like, is the ring configuration for B6 the same as personal maybe? Does that look like personal? Honestly, I don't know. I think B6 was sold out. Maybe B6 wasn't sold out. I don't remember. But either way, I knew that it was um, like what I needed. And these are like little dashboards, right? Sorry, Nick's texting me out. Theo, so I'm trying to read it. But I have like plans for these. I'm not going to use them as dashboards, 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 but more as just general foil storage. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Um, but I want to do a video on that, but it's honestly going to take me a little bit because I'm like hecka slow and I'm also waiting for the perfect planner to come out to put everything in. So, um, one day I'm going to have this like epic, epic thing and you'll see. And those are just like honestly a necessity for it. They were something that I didn't know. I needed and I purchased. I also placed an order recently um, from Lauren because I subscribed to this girl that I found on YouTube. Her name is Just Lovey Dovey. And honestly, like, sometimes, sorry if you care with you in the background. Honestly, like, sometimes you just find somebody on the internet and you're just like, this is a breath of fresh air. I love this person. I can watch this person talk all day long. I was telling this to Kirsten and she said that she feels the same way about Lauren plans, which I also do feel the same about Lauren plans, but I just feel like they're like positive people out there just really like just make my day and like, I don't know, just I was just really happy when I found her. So, hey girl, if you're watching. So, definitely go over and subscribe because I just feel like I don't know. I just feel I just feel like she's just all kinds of good people. And Lauren too, Lauren plans. I just feel like she also puts up videos like 12 times a day. So you will definitely have enough content to watch for a while. So I'm going to link them down below. If I don't, if I forget, let me know in the comments so that I can add them in there because I'm also like a very forgetful person. Also because I do film these and then like have bits for weeks. Um, 
but I did order these and these are the date the date DIY covers and these are in the um, Justenia, the Planner Sophisticate font. I did order them in black, hollow, silver, and gold. They look a little thicker than the ones in shop, but they're super cute. So the idea is that she sells like these like blank date. Um, I don't know where I have them at. They're blank like date underlays and then you put these over top so you can have like a custom foiled combination, I guess. Um, but I thought these were really cute. I don't really like have like a huge collection of overlays. I do have some like at the office with my um with my like washi storage. But I feel like I don't really pull for them that much just because they're all the way like they're just like it's hard to store them. But I do have one of these in my desk for the mixed metal moments in my life. And this was in the six year bundle. Oh, this is so cute. So this is like a mixed metal one from Lauren. So she has like all different overlay tapes. Anyway, so I did place it. My whole tangent before on Just Lovey Dovey was because she showed that Lauren came out with like the fake, like, not fake. I'm trying to think of the word. Like the glitter header tape that's like pre-cut that's like glitter, but like not going to get all over the place. So it's kind of like, I don't know, but it's like real glitter. Does that make sense? I don't really know how to explain it. But she was talking about it and she showed the one and I was like, that's cute. And then she showed the chunky one and I was like, need that in my life for holiday spreads because she said holiday spreads would look so cute with that. So I did place another order with Lauren after watching that video because I was like, I need. So I believe that Lauren still has these in shop, so I'll link her down below. And then last but certainly, well, actually, I don't know, certainly not least, is I did, um, this is super cute, like a handwritten note. So I did order from this shop. I think that their name is on their sticker sheet. This is really cute. But it's from Little Bujo, Bujo Stickers. And it was one of my like late night, like I'm gonna go like look around on the Etsy's and see like what I can find. And I found this shop. So these are on matte paper. They're like the, her stickers or their stickers is very much so made for like, is there my address on here? No. This is cute. I don't know what this is for. Um, let's see. So their stickers are very much so made for like bullet journalers because they are like larger. Um, the style is like watercolor, which is really cute. But I had found them and they had, I think, like maybe like this sheet and like this sheet and maybe like just like a couple, like maybe like three sheets of like Animal Crossing stickers available. And then they released more, which I believe are like these ones, possibly. And I was like, all right, I need to order. So, and I think to get it over the amount to get free shipping, I did pick up this Hufflepuff sticker sheet, which I am going to send to Jessica. I don't know, like, really what she's going to use it for. Jessica is still planning. She just doesn't, like, post pictures of it online. So, like, maybe she can use that somewhere. But I just figured to get free shipping, like, you know, it's just like that with any website. Like, if you go to, like, walmart.com and they're, like, $35 free shipping, you're like, I'll add a bowl with the straw attached. Like, I don't care. Like, it's free, technically, or I would have paid for shipping. That's one way to look at it. So I did um, pick up some Animal Crossing stickers. I mean, they're not like, I feel like I could definitely put these in like a half box. Like, it might be a little bit big. Um, definitely a half box. Is this character green? Yeah, I guess it's Rocket, right? I don't know. Okay. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes like a little bit of a nerd to be like, oh, like this character. And I'm like, oh, like. I just, I don't know. I never have been this nerdy about anything. Like, there's Coco and Mabel, and you know, we got, oh, what was that? A fauna and uh, Stitches and Bio Tangy. Um, what the heck's her name? Uh, I have an amiibo card for her, but I don't remember what her name is. Molly? Is it Molly? I think so. Anyway, so these are like the sea creatures that I thought were really cute. And then they have the green characters, which I don't know, would never be attracted to any of them, but you know, whatever. And then also you have the like more brown ones, which are super cute. I am getting Coco because I think Coco is just such a vibe. And then this is like the funny ones. And the one time, oh, was it Jessica? I think she either missed out on, is it Petro or Petro? Or I honestly don't know and like little catch up up there. But, like, she found him on a mystery island, and then her, like, game glitched out. And then I think she ended up getting Flora, but, like, that's a cutie. Oh, Meringue is so cute. I love all the pink characters. But, like, half the time, like, the pink characters end up being normals, and you're like, well, I can't have 12 normals. And then there's Dom. Oh, I love the little piggy, but doesn't she have, like, a, like, design on her face or something like that? Oh, I have Marshall, and then Diana, which Diana doesn't have that coloring, but, like, it's still super cute. Oh, 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 so cute. 
And then I do have Whitney. Oh, God. I just love them. I love the style of these. These are so cute. Uh, and then the little Animal Crossing, like, doodles. Honestly, my order more of this sheet because I feel like this sheet is definitely, like, you could start doing, like, fancy label size. The sizing's a little bit smaller. I think these are actually the mini sheets. Honestly, if they did a micro sheet, I'd buy it. Um, so I bought two of those. And then I also bought this one, which I just thought was cute. I might just, like, decorate, like, random stupid stuff with this. Or if I just had, like, a really crazy Animal Crossing week, I feel like this would be really cute in the sidebar with just like Animal Crossing over it because I feel like Animal Crossing is gonna be something that like sticks around my whole life because I'm just like that into it and crazy so then you have a little Isabel die cut and then you have just some like other stuff and then a little Raymond die cut I'm actually put that on the little postcard I'm sending kitten chess and then there is some like Harry Potter stuff like I don't know what this is for it's just like little like paper stuff I might just send this to Jessica like Dumbledore's army I don't know. I don't know what it's for, but it's cute, and I feel like Jessica will put it in something or, like, you know, decorate with it because she's always, like, a knick-knack lady. So that's everything for this little portion of the haul. If I forget to link anything down below, let me know because I know this one is very rambly. Ah, I just took a sip of my juice box. I love these juice boxes so much, guys. I have them on Amazon Subscribe and Save. They are my favorite. I don't really like juice. And, and, like, I don't like real juice. I don't like fake juice. I just don't like juice, 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 a uh, juice, juice. But those juice boxes, they're amazing. So let's go into my haul. My haul bit. So let's see. So first things first, I thought it would be interesting because I don't, like, film at work anymore. So I have to, like, bring home stuff to, like, use. And I ran out of the... Um, I guess it's just called glitter. I want to like think of a different name for this because it's like dots. I don't, I don't know. But I ran out of hollow, so I brought home three of the headers, and then I brought home one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I just got a bunch of the like full box ones, so thought I'd show you guys that because I definitely needed those. Um, obviously like no I don't bring home kits because I just bring home like kits every week and I just have them but when it comes to like foil I usually bring home like a chunk and then like if I need more I just like grab more um I've actually been bringing home like way less foil just like so that I don't have as much like thickness in my collection and then when I need it I just go back and grab it so I did get an order in from Sparkly Paper Co um she did release a bunch of different vellums and I thought they were really pretty so they have the like Lux um Fox actually this is like Fox and Pip collab and I did get the vertical and all of them possibly yes because that like is what works best in the cloud these would honestly be so pretty in the cloud if I didn't already have this cloud set up but when it comes to like all of this stuff that Ashley puts out, I do usually just buy it for future um, like setups and stuff because you can never have too much, especially of the acetate. She has the foil acetate of the like Lux pattern and I have several dozen sheets of it. So just in case there's like an apocalypse, I got a vellum. I also placed an order from this shop here, which is called Sugar Bones, maybe? Possibly? Yes. So, uh, Jess, Kittenish Jess, she told me about the shop, specifically this pin set, which when I saw, I knew I'd have. They had a bunch of other ones that were a little bit like kind of like sexual that I was like kind of disappointed that were sold out because I was like yes um but I wanted to get this one so this one says do not mess with me I will cry I that's not really me but it's very dom so it's so cute he's such a cutie so I had to pick that up I think that was a pre-order possibly it also did come with this adorable little journaling card which is probably one of my favorite journaling cards I've ever gotten it says thanks for shopping have a nice day and then has the little nook boys in the middle and then also a little vinyl sticker so it says we are all just made up of stardust and I think this is so cute it definitely reminds me of Darcy she's the artist um I don't know why it reminds me of her but for some reason it does and then I also got this one because it's cute perfection so they had a lot of really cute ones I'll definitely be like looking back and seeing if they restock or have anything new because I thought that they had 
some really nice pins and I thought they were really pretty really nice quality so I did place another order from Cosmic Design Co I think this is my second order from them I did order from them um like whenever I was ordering from like every shop under the sun and I think that they like took a vacation possibly to like maybe redesign their stuff um so I did place an order I don't know if I've like already ordered some of these or maybe I was like maybe they made them like different sizings colorways and I didn't feel like looking so I just ordered so there was two freebies in here I think that these are stickers based on the feel they are and this is like a Harry Potter book stack and then this one is a Ariel mermaid um, mini ears so these are the sticker sheets that I picked up the first one here is paint so that would be really cute well it's watercolors for like painting with Bennett then I got the Harry Potter book stack I don't plan on like reading Harry Potter by myself I tried to actually listen to the audible of Harry Potter when I used to get my eyelashes done and I'd fall asleep but I do plan to read Harry Potter eventually with my kidders and then I got these Starbucks cups they do have like the little Mickey ear straw thing I never really got the point of like the straw things but like they're really cute you have the uh, birdie boats and then also the honey duke's like little oop, candy jar there's also the magic band scanner which I thought was cute I really would love this in like multicolor. I do know like obviously it scans green but like it'd be really cute in multicolor I got the RVs also the Mickey presents, which I'm actually probably going to put these with Animal Crossing. I think I might have ordered them before. Why are you not? There you go. If I can put those with Animal Crossing, the mini ears in that color. Oh, wait, maybe I'll put this one with Animal Crossing. They're both really cute. And then I got more of these. Again, I don't know if the sizing's different. Kind of too lazy to check. And then also the tents, because I thought those were really cute for if I one day go camping is there places that don't have mosquitoes because honestly like i'm cool with everything except for mosquitoes she's not cool with mosquitoes so i did place an order from lauren of rose color days i think about i talked about this in another haul but i actually placed i believe two more orders with lauren since then she's been like it's been fire so i did get the september journaling card the um freebie it's like a gold glittery gold freebie and then also lauren's um card here that says stay humble hustle hard and i did pick up some of the glitter tapes honestly do not know when i will use these did i buy all of these i don't think so maybe lauren threw in different ones i don't know nope i did buy them all okay cool this one looks rose gold but it said gold Maybe it's just like more of a champagne gold. Let me see. Yeah, this one's more of like a champagne-y gold, but not even. More of like a, I don't know, dusty gold, but it's cute. So I talked about, I had watched this uh, YouTuber, Just Lovey Dovey. I think in like the last haul bit or something, but she hauled these and I like, I think I just missed the boat when she released them. I personally don't know. Like I said, I don't know when I'm going to use these. Let me open one. But... I thought they were so nostalgic, I guess, because if you guys don't know the origin of glitter headers, like glitter headers and kits, um, Jessica J. Crew plans. She's like rest in peace as far as like her planner Instagram goes. She's still alive. She's just like planning by herself. Um, she used to, where the heck is the end? She used to take glitter tape like this. It wasn't perforated. It literally looked like this. And she would cut, she would lay it and cut every single glitter header. Um, while the rest of us in the world were using like today to do whatever like headers. I cannot find it. Is it, is it here? Um, everyone else was using headers. She was innovating with her glitter tape. And I remember she was like complaining about how bulky her planner got because it was like it was way thicker than this, the stuff that she was using, right? It was, like, actually, like, textured, like, thick glitter. Um, she was complaining about how thick her planner got, so I was like, all right, I'm just going to make you digital ones and, like, call it a day. Wait, is this perforated? I think. I thought. I do not see perforation. Oh, there it is. Okay. So... Jessica was doing them. Oh, wow. You cannot see the perforations. So this is like a blind like thing. Okay. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to make them digital for you. And then everyone was like, oh, I want digital ones. And then we ended up just like having them in kits. So Jessica was like the OG originator of glitter headers. And 
this just took me back to that. If Jessica had this then, like this would change her life. Look how like, I feel like I'm like swatching makeup. It's so pretty. I'm gonna have to use it for some spread, you know? I'm gonna have to like find a spread for it and make it happen. Oh, it's so nice. So I did pick up the Chunky. Like I was saying, I uh, lo just Lovey Debbie mentioned these in her haul and I was like, oh my God, I have to get those. So I'm actually gonna be sending a set to Jessica just because like she's gonna love this because it's like perforated glitter headers. It's just like such a throwback. Oh, so pretty. It really does look like makeup though. Like look at it. It's so nice and it doesn't like shatter anything. It's pretty thin as you can see. It's very thin. So it's so pretty though. It just reminds me of makeup. I just kind of want to wear them. I feel like I could. Kind of like football style, like under my eyes. Oh God. Love that. Gonna keep that there. So those are the Rose Color Days tapes. And like I said, I bought one set for me and one set for Jessica because that she's gonna love that. And then I think she also came out with like ball tapes and like other colors. So if you want more like fun colors, she's got them. I did place this pre-order with no white space stickers for the Haunted Mansion, um, what's this called? Haunted Mansion washi, and I am so excited. I kind of am in the mood to do some swatching, um, but she did a pre-order for this, and I feel like she does pre-orders for a decent amount of stuff. I do definitely prefer, like, a pre-order rather than a ninja finger moment because I feel like I get like anxiety and it like is my whole day also I'm the kind of person who like sets alarms for things and then I forget about them and then I like the alarm will go off at like two let's say and I'll be like what did I set an alarm for what am I missing because I forgot because I don't ever name my alarms you know I'm just kind of like a dodo but um I really love it whenever I'm mean, gonna send me tiktoks this girl knows I don't know tiktok I don't even have the app installed Ugh, what is it? Oh, I don't even know. Okay, but anyways. So, uh, what are they talking about? So, I love when everything's in pre-sale. So, this was super fun because I could just, like, go in, buy what I wanted, and then bounce. Um, which I love that. I think she did that with, like, some, like, $2 Tuesday stickers or something, too. And it was just so nice to go in and just buy whatever. Um, but I know that also isn't always feasible, so... Either way, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. Okay, so these are the washi tapes that she did Haunted Mansion. As you guys know, I love Haunted Mansion aesthetic. Again, not the biggest fan of the ride. Also, probably doesn't help that I've been on the ride a thousand times because it's Nick's favorite ride, but these are so pretty. I actually don't even feel like I need to swatch them. I feel like I could just like hold them. <gasps> They're so pretty. They have hollow foil. So you have definitely like Haunted Mansion inspired. And then these ones are just like spooky Mickey. So these are so pretty. And I love the deep colors. Definitely going to be using these for decoration when I redo my office eventually. But like, come on. I just love Tabitha's designs. I believe that her husband does them. And I just think, oh, so dang good. If Tabitha did a release every day, I'm pretty sure that I'd participate. And then also, I don't know if I ordered this or if it was like a freebie, but it was a little ghost host, little um, name tag type sticker. It's a vinyl. Oh, wow. So pretty. Love that. And then it also came with the um, journaling card, which I think I will frame this and probably use it um, in Nick's room for like Halloween decor because I eventually want to do like every room in my house decorated seasonally with their own vibes in every room which might sound ambitious but like I got a lot of years to perfect it so it's it'll be fine. I also did place an order with Creativity and Ink which I've never ordered before. Actually I don't know if my invoice is in here with my address so I'm just gonna like inspect i don't believe so i think this is just like a journaling card okay so i'm pretty sure that they sent me more stuff than i ordered because i don't think i ordered this much so if they did thank you um because i think i just ordered like a two things or like four things and i have like 70 things here but i don't have my invoice and i don't feel like looking but i'm fairly certain i did not order this much so they sent me a bunch of overlay tapes i believe and i ordered some so this was a, a actually a like a collab release. What does it say? 
So this is their little journaling card. And then there was a bunch of like, there's a bunch of like tie dye, like Louis kind of Lux inspired little circles on the bottom. Um, I'm assuming they're stickers, but they had this release. Um, it was actually in like collab with Tabitha and I believe there's two designs here and there's full boxes as well as header overlays. I think I only ordered gold and silver possibly. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm excited either way. And I need to think of a, like, I mean, I can organize them the same way that I do washi tape. I just don't want to, like, go overboard on overlay tapes because I'm going to, I already have too many washies. Like, I can't. So let me show you guys the two designs and then I'll just kind of, like, go over the other ones. So these are, like, perforated full boxes, you know, like, kind of like the headers that I just showed you, but they're clear. I mean, you guys have seen these before. Unless you're living under a rock. All right, hold on can never find the end of anything unless it's just like your standard tape you know okay okay cool so that was the end I never I feel like overlay tapes never like rip right for me hold on okay so this is the first design so this is like a princess luxe vibe I think she said Tabitha designed this one I think I or I don't know which one I ordered really should just pull out my invoice i'm going to because i just honestly don't know what i did here but also like sometimes i just order things and i'm like i don't know create creativity okay here view order it makes it so easy for me to view my order so i ordered the likes header tape it's oops i don't know why it's oops but it says oops um the full boxes in silver and gold and the princess Lux full boxes in gold silver hollow oh i actually think that the magic likes and hollow was sold out yeah right yeah but i have the magic yeah so i think that they sent me rose gold and then the header tapes no, I bought, I don't, honestly, I don't really know what I bought. I don't really know at this point in time what I bought. Oh, crap. I don't know. I bought, but it says bundle. Full box and header tape. Bundle in gold. Maybe I did. I didn't buy anything in rose gold, though. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I bought, I don't know. Do you guys, I don't think you guys care. Okay. So... I'm so careful. Okay. All right. So let me show you guys these. Let me grab to have this little book here. Okay. So, oh my goodness. This is what they look like. All right. Right. So this is the princess Lux full box. And then, okay. So it was, it was header and full box. Okay. And then the magical likes, which I thought was so cute. This is actually my favorite, I think, out of the two. Um, super cute right um so this one has like the Lux inspired but it has like princess icons in here and then this one's the magical likes and then they have matching like uh well i'm just gonna show you and we're just here we're here we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're gonna do it all right so let me open these look at me like swatching washi who am i all right let's do it i do like that it has the little green part because i could tell where it's at Right, the first one's garbage and then I like that and then I like lose it okay right here wonder what the oops is I probably should look that up so here's the magical like um header overlays oh my god I'll show you guys close up in a second but then there's also like the lux right oh these have the perforation cool so I think they all did I just am kind of not fully there And then this is the Princess Lux one, which I think I'm gonna be able to get this one right this time. Doesn't help I have my nails painted with gel nail polish. I feel like it's so hard to do anything. Oh, this is cool. I actually like this better than the um, the full box tape. 
This is cool. I thought it would be different, but I think I like it better than what I imagined, right? I obviously can tell that I don't really pay attention to anything right here. I really like the header overlay tape of this one. Actually, I really like the both of the header overlay tapes, but I feel like as far as like going over a glitter header, this is gonna look way cooler. I do think that this is a little bit busy. Um, kind of wish it was just like kind of in the corners, but I feel like I might actually cut this down and put it over bottom washi because realistically, I did this with like one of Lauren's tape releases and I just bought, it was the like the blood drip i bought the full box overlay tape because i was like she had full box i think glitter i don't know if she had glitter had her overlay tape she had full box something else and bottom washi and i was like i could just cut the full box right and i could just like make it long and then just trim it so that's what i might do here is just use this on like 15 millimeter strips or on glitter headers i think you can kind of like cut it here and make it look like it's kind of fading or you can cut it here and make it look like it's like a thick pattern. So I think that'd be really, really cute. I, I'm gonna experiment. So I have all these, so very excited. Thank you to the shop. Um, I think that that was on purpose, but at the same time, I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know what I ordered. I don't, so there's that. So that's everything for this portion of the haul. Basically only filming this part because I really want one of the products in here. There is dogs barking next door. The only downside to filming at home is my neighbors have these massive dogs that they just like let bark all day and all night. Just super, super annoying and inconsiderate, but that's beyond the story here. So I'm just gonna film this and I'm sorry if they bark in the background or if you can hear it. I mean, it actually it'll be like a nice test on if like you can actually hear it or not. Um, but I really wanted to open this because I did have this coaster in here from Fox and Pip. This is a Fox and Pip order. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think it was a pre-sale um, and I did get this coaster, which I really wanted. Um, I actually was like, hey Nick, do you have a coaster? Cause like I always get like wet stuff everywhere and obviously that's not good with paper. So I had my chai and I figured I would just open this so that I can actually use the coaster in there because it is super stinking cute. It's an acrylic coaster. I also did get one of the um, rulers and it's super cute. Amanda did send me a glittery one once, but I wanted to have one of the regular ones as well. I don't remember. Honestly, don't really remember this order. I feel like because it was a pre-order, it might have been a while ago. But I honestly don't remember any of it. So there's that. So I do also have some charms here. Let me go ahead and show you guys these. So the first one here is a little rainbow charm with a gold clasp. And it's just acrylic. It is like a kind of like a hollow acrylic. You can kind of see it's like clear but like picks up different lights and then I also do have which I need to paint my nails too so I'm trying to like avoid showing you this really cute bow and this has I guess it looks kind of pink like outlining it looks like super cute and then I also did get two of these which she's had pre-sales for these in the past and I think I do actually have I actually <laughs> I actually still have them in the packaging Oops. I haven't had them found like what can you hear that? I don't know. I haven't found a like purpose for these yet, but I thought I didn't have them, but I remembered I do have them. So now I just have extra and these are like little bow charms with the fox and pit bow, which I really do love Amanda's bow. I think it's one of like the cutest bows. So yeah, that's everything in my really small little fox and pip order. I feel like I have most everything from our shop anyway, so y'all know. So that's everything for this little portion just so I could use the coaster. Okay. Oh, I love all this stuff. I'm so excited to show you everything. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'll do like wax melts last. I really need to like upload a haul bit like sometime soon. So like hopefully it's a thing. Um, but I do have a new to me shop here. So I'm really excited about that. But let's go over the other stuff first. So first things first is I do have an order in from Caress Press. I did not order this much. I think Maggie just like threw handfuls of these into my like order. I ordered um, the bow confetti hole protectors, all five in quantity of two. And then I ordered the mixed confetti hole protectors, all five in quantity of two. So I ordered 10, no, 20 sheets. And this is like 100,000. So I have all of the stuff. So 
let's go through these first so these are like new designs i believe so let me go ahead and show you guys in silver because it's easiest to see um let's go through i do feel like she did change her rose gold and her gold the rose gold's now more kind of like what like everyone's like rose gold looks like well it's actually still a little more pinky but it's more like shiny less matte um and then the gold is a little less warm and kind of like a cool toned gold um wait what did i do did i mix these up maybe i don't know what i did are these the same thing yeah i think so so i'm gonna show you guys in silver here these ones so i got like a bazillion so they come in like all of the foils so you have silver gold rose gold hollow and did i not order sparkly there's sparkly hollow not available this one maybe i don't know maybe it wasn't available this one or maybe it's sparkly hollow and i can't tell I don't know anyways so this is the silver so there's a bunch of different designs right so it kind of looks like um there's just different yeah they're just kind of like lightly different designs i'm going to kind of try and show you i would just look at the listing picture i think it might be a little bit easier but they are like whole reinforcements and basically with one sheet you could do one two three four spreads and reinforce the holes if you're using a ring planner of any size it will work and then there is this one which i think is like kind of like the new classic so this one does for sure come in all of the foils um and this one has the silver i'll show you because it's easiest to see actually i don't know i feel like the gold might be the easiest to see I don't know so there is like a really 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 light confetti on top if you can see it and then like a medium and then like a thicker and then this is like inverted so that is what that looks like and again I just have like a pile of these so I don't think I'm ever gonna run out which is nice so look at that stack of caress press reinforcements and then let's go into i have a small wish upon magic order which i've been placing orders with them y'all know all the time so i bought three of these mickey gloves because like the uh disneyland logo i really love that one because it's clear and i think it looks really cool because it's like a sketch right um i can't get this off but they are like weatherproof vinyls so you can use them on like water bottles or whatever and they won't like come off if you wash them so i got three of these because i thought they were really cute i did get the like classic um mickey mouse pumpkin head that's kind of like halloweeny and then i also did get this is from like nightmare before christmas or something i don't know but i got that one too because i thought it was super stinking cute um definitely like i feel like i should have got two of these ones i don't know if this one's clear or not i feel like it actually might be clear i'm gonna go with it is clear yeah i think it's clear so super cute and i love their stuff i also realized i don't know if i didn't realize before if they changed it to this so what they do is is they like release vinyls they release other stuff too but like they release vinyls like one at a time like maybe every three days and i was always like dang like i'll just like keep a little cart going but their shipping is actually free yeah this is clear their shipping's free so now i'm like yolo i'm just gonna like buy them like whenever they release them because i think for like you know their ears and stuff that's like actual things like shipping isn't free but um i think for the vinyls they're all free because they just ship them in an envelope with a stamp but for some reason i feel like i had tracking i don't know but i always get them so i don't think i've ever like had one lost so i did place an order with paper muse craft which you guys know that i love and i did order a kit and she threw in some extras because she always just spoils me and there is the adventures out there sheet so it is an up inspired sheet which is super cute um i just think this is this is adorable and then there's also a cooking sheet which i just love this i have been cooking i told kirsten today i've been cooking breakfast lunch and dinner most days like actually cooking and i've been loving it i also signed up for hello fresh again and i just think that's a really fun way to kind of like try new things and you know learn different stuff so i've been really loving that so i'll definitely get a lot of use out of those thank you so much they're beautiful <laughs> i just love them so much so i'm gonna save those over there and then this is my order i believe think yeah 
So I did uh, get this freebie, so it is a foiled freebie, so, so cute. And then I did pick up the pregnancy bump, and as you can see, oh, I did actually, um, I got them in three different hair colors. So I got them in the brunette, the blonde, and then also the black hair because I don't plan on ever getting pregnant again, but I figured I could use these for my friends, and this kind of, for the most part, encompasses most of my friends. And if it doesn't, I have pregnancy munchkins. So there is also the, like, school supplies, which I thought were really cute because they are in pastel and I could use these for all different sorts of things. The school uniform which I thought would be really cute for marking anything kind of like we get fancied up for like me family pictures or just like anything you know I love anything that has to do with kids. So I got that in the brown and the blonde hair and then I also got the painting which I thought was really really cute in the blonde and the brown hair and then I did also get the bath tubs in the blonde. I think I already had them in the uh, I think I might have them already, but I had to get them again because that's me. So I did also pick up this kit from Paper Muse Crafts, and I think I might actually use this in my planner um, this year. The only thing is, is this is, I think, I don't know if there's a choice, but this is on premium mat. And normally I, um, like, print myself off extras whenever I use other people's kits, just because usually I don't have, like, enough boxes. Um, but I don't know, like, how glossy and matte are going to look together. I should have just bought two kits and just been like YOLO. Um, but I just really loved this because I do did use this art, but I want to save my kit for like when I go to Disney when it's Halloween next. Um, so I wanted to pick up a different kit using it, but I'm, I don't know. I might just use it in my work planner just because I don't like, I don't know how like glossy and the premium matte will look together. Um, but it's a really gorgeous kit. She did do it in hollow foil and I love the color she picked because she pulled out a lot of the mint, which makes it look more pastel and just really pretty. And I really love her kits. I think they're super cute. And yeah, so love this and love the foil choice of hollow. So I love that. I love Paper Muse Craft, y'all know. Then I do have a new to me shop and I'll leave the wax melts to last. So this is from Planna Hannah and I just love Hannah. I just think she's so cute. We have so much in common. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know anybody else who loves the, like the smell slash taste of almond like I do. And she loves McDonald's and I could go for McDonald's so bad right now, but I'm trying to be like really good. But like she knows that whenever those spicy nuggets come out, I'm going to hit those up. So she wrote me a little note, which was really cute. And she just sent me a bunch of stuff. I sent her a bunch of stuff and we're just like living our best lives. So I'm so excited to show you guys stuff from her shop. It's a primarily a foil shop. I will leave her linked down below. I believe she is on Etsy. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go over the little sheets first. Super cute. I love the like top bar. So cute with the foil color. It makes it easy to kind of like sift through. So the first thing in here is some date numbers and a super cute font. I think this font's going to look so cute with Halloween spreads. So in gold, in silver, in hollow, and in rose gold. Oh my god. These are so cute. Oh wait. <gasps> uh, I don't remember seeing these. But she did say that there were sneaks to her birthday releases. <gasps> oh, these are going to look so cute on our new format, Little Things. It's kind of insane. I don't have a kit near me. But y'all know, these are going to look so cute on our new Little Things. I actually just formatted like mini icons that Mark drew me for like a future release. You guys are going to see. But these like have so many icons and they are so cute. <gasps> these are definitely going to be a, I need to like buy more of because there's so many icons on here. There's even like little bow tie pasta. Like what? And pretzels and pies and just like all. Oh, these are all food. Okay, I can get with this. I can get with this. I love this and this is going to go perfect on little things. <gasps> I'm dead. I'm dead. Then she did throw in these sad, bad word, but I relate sometimes. It's super cute. Oh, God. It's so pretty. could definitely use those in place of, like, in my feelings or um, anything like that. And then oh, visit with the in-laws. I love you. These are so cute. Oh, I can use these every single week. I just think they're so cute. They're so pretty. Oh my god. With the boys, I didn't open this package and I'm just like so, so excited. With the boys, you guys know I love my boys. Ugh. All three of them. Oh, they're so cute. And everything's like perfect. It's just so beautiful. With Nick. Oh, yes. With Nick. I was actually just thinking I need more like with scripts because I'll, most of mine just say like Nick. I have a couple that say with Nick, but not a lot. And same goes with the boys, which there are with Bennett and with Theo, which <laughs> literally die. I love like my kids names on stuff like it just melts my whole heart oh god i love this and then with theo 
and all the foils. Oh my god, I love them. So cute. And then, oh god, I'm so excited. Okay, so I think I like hearted her story whenever she posted about these, and she's like, I'm just gonna send you some because I was gonna, I was sending her kits and stuff. Oh, it's these ones. Let me show you. Okay. So I was like, oh my god, these are so cute, right? And I think she sent me like every design, I think, or like most of the designs in like a different foil so I can try them out. And these are like bougie boxes, right? But they're like Halloween themed. And I like, I just, I'm, I just like, what, like what? And I'm definitely going to be using these with my Halloween kits. And I think it's going to look so stinking cute. So there is this one here, which has kind of like, I'm assuming like a tree and then like a jack-o'-lantern face, which is super cute and gold. So two of them, because that would be like, one and then change bougie which what you could totally do here is you could do um bougie is you know i i'm trying to think of like the number because it's eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen for bougie right and then you can use these like in different spreads like if you want to do you know a box that's open and then do like a square and then have all this showing i think that would look really cool and then you also have the silver candies which actually might be my favorite i think these are super cute and they're gonna look nice like peeking out of the back and then also the rose gold pumpkins. Super cute. Oh, wait. I might like this one the most. I don't know. It's going to toss up between the candy and then the jack-o'-lantern faces. These are going to look so cute peeking out behind all of my plans. And then there is also the bats and hollow, which is going to look... I don't know which kid I'm going to use this with. I think it's going to look really cute with, like, Boo Day. But also would look really good with Dead Inside. So I'm kind of torn. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but I'm going to leave her link down below. There is more though. Hold on, there's more. So there's a bunch of quotes. I'm not going to read them all to you, but let me show you on silver because I think, oh wait, are they all different? Wait, 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 okay, they are, okay, that's pretty dope because then I can use, oh, Oh, okay, they're all different. Okay, so I can use, I love whenever, like, I have, like, if you saw my, like, Sadie Stickers order recently, I ordered, like, the script. She had, like, three different ones or whatever, and I ordered, like, a different foil in each because realistically, I'm probably not going to use the same quote in my planner. But all of these are different quotes. This one's in silver. So this one looks like sassy quotes, I think. Kind of like sassy, like, girl bossy quotes. And then this one is more sassier, sassier quotes like a little bit sassier, a little bit like potty mouthy. Love those. And then it looks like this one is a Pixar themed. Yeah, Pixar. Well, Big Hero 6 isn't Pixar, but Pixar themed. Yeah, Big Hero 6 isn't. So, oh, yes. You guys know I love Pixar. And then this one is also Pixar besides Wreck-It Ralph. So cute. <gasps> I love these. I could definitely use these. These are so cute. And I like that they're kind of just like neutral. So I feel like you could just throw them in any spread. And it's not like, oh, like it has to be like a Pixar spread or anything, you know? And then this one is just mostly, I think, like regular Disney movies, which are really cute. Oh, look at that. And then this one is in silver. And then there is more Disney movies here in gold. I'm sure she has these on her website so you guys can like see the like what they say exactly and then this one has a bunch of Disney movies as well in rose gold and then also more Disney movies in hollow so I'm like literally set on quotes and I'm gonna for sure have to start pulling these in because they're so cute I don't even know which one my favorite is I really do like the like Pixar ones because I'm very much so a Pixar person They're so cute. Oh, the Winnie the Pooh one. Ugh, you guys don't even know what's going on. I'm so excited. Okay, so that is everything from Planet Hannah, and I am so excited. I don't even know what my favorite thing is. I really love the Disney quotes, and I really like oh, all of these, but I think if I had to pick a favorite, it would be the Jack Lantern. I think it's because it's gold, and I love gold. I think with Boo, that's going to be, like, super cute. I also really love these, like, little food icons and all of the... I just love it all, and I think she's so sweet and just, like, the cutest, and just follow her because, like... Just do it, guys. Just do it. I, I know the good stuff, and she's good stuff. So that is my little sweet, like, little package from Planet Hannah, and I just love you, Planet Hannah. Hannah, love you. Okay, then I go and go into my, my brushes. This is my Nerdy Wax haul, and it's funny because um, Planet Hannah, like, 
completely bonded initially over this scent the scent is so good and she posted that she bought like three of these and i went on and bought like what was left so it's so good it's like it's my favorite scent i think that nerdy wax has done and i'm just so excited that i got more of them and then i also got more of this one which i do love as well which is the erica g designs one which is the lemon zest and vanilla so it's like a kind of like a lemon pound cake so let me go ahead and talk about these first and then i'll get into the like new releases i guess did i order these i really don't think i did i'm confused i i feel like i never know what i order from anyone well let's go first i got like this sour punch which i'm for sure gonna give to kirsten i always give kirsten all of my candy um and then this is like his little journaling not journaling card pfft, his um business card and then this was the freebie which is the um what's it called i cannot think of what uh, do they even have names like the the uh, the uh i cannot think of the number right now 36 42 no that's not it 26 42 i don't know i'm like it's late and i'm like drinking my coke but it's not like really getting to me so it smells good uh definitely will be using that all my wax molds over here in a pile um, so I'm pretty sure that these are freebies and then I ordered this stuff, but also I might've just ordered one of these, but I think I ordered two. So the first thing that I ordered was four of the Rex and that might seem excessive, but if you guys didn't see, I have ordered like 12 of one max wax melt before and that was from Morton Co. So this doesn't seem that wild for just seems pretty tame. So this is Rex and it's pistachio, pistachio almond and vanilla and this smells so good when i initially hauled this i was like oh you know what i remember whenever i first smelled this i think brian and carson were over and i was like this smells like play-doh and it honestly kind of does but it smells like this lotion and i mentioned this in my last haul i love this lotion so much it's the cnd almond hydrating lotion and it is so good it's a really like slick lotion it's not like a thick like super creamy lotion it's more of like you put it on and it it feels just like i don't know it's good but this is the best scent ever it does it has a hint of play-doh which i love i love the smell of play-doh like the other day i was like looking up the like scent profile of play-doh and it's like a secret mm, smells so good so naturally had to buy four of them sorry i felt a little bad but at the same time i was actually pretty late to the game so Mm. And then this one smells so good, too. This one's the Erica G Designs Lemon Zest and Vanilla, and it smells so good. I love lemon. The other night, we had this meal. It was couscous, and it had, like, lemon and green onion and just, like, some basic other things in it. But, oh, my God. I could eat six pounds of couscous. Anything that has, like, lemon on it, if it's edamame, I could eat, like, three pounds of edamame with lemon on it. I just love lemon. I love eating lemon stuff. I love just not i'm not gonna eat like a lemon like lollipop or something that's insane but like lemon food like lemon like like food that's like not sweet does it make sense oh i could smell lemon i just what? just whack myself in the face with this but i just love lemon i love lemon so much i love lemon i love almond i love like i just love love mm. Mm. This is Jean. So, Bob's Burgers. I don't like Bob's Burgers. It's not that I don't like Bob's Burgers. I just don't like Bob's Burgers. Um, Nick likes Bob's Burgers. Kirsten likes Bob's Burgers. Bennett likes Bob's Burgers. He constantly wants to watch Bob's Burgers, which is honestly better than for me than watching, like, Ryan or Blippi or something. So, like, whatever. I'll watch Bob's Burgers. So, I've seen a few episodes here and there. So, I didn't buy the whole bundle because, like, I just don't care about Bob's Burgers. But I saw this one and I was like, well, if I'm going to buy any of them, I got it. I just got to buy them. I'm already here. I might as well buy it. So, look at this. It's so stinking cute. So, it's, like, Fruity Loops. So, Fruit Loops. And it smells spot on. It actually might be one of the closest Fruit Loops smells that I've smelled. I feel like all Fruit Loops smells that I've smelled have been good. But this one, it has that really warm kind of smell that it's more of the taste of the Fruit Loops than the actual smell of them. Honestly, don't know if that makes any sense to anybody. But like whenever you taste Fruit Loops and you're and you're like chewing them and smelling them, it smells different than when you're just smelling them. It smells like warmer and kind of like I don't know. This, my scent descriptions are definitely award-winning. 
but I love that scent. It's really good. And then I think these were both freebies, so thank you. I'm so excited to like sniff these because like why not? So the first one here is Gail, which I don't know who Gail or Louise is, but burger of the day. Like, mm, I hope it smells. Does this? Oh, I was like, does this smell like a hamburger or tomatoes or something? Mmm, this one smells like pink lemonade and blue raspberry. I feel like they always smell like nostalgic to me, but I can never like remember what the scent, like where I smelled it before. This one almost kind of smells like fruit loops, or is it just like stuck in my nose? Nope, definitely smells different. I feel like this one, I don't know. I do really like the smell of it. I just don't know what it smells like. I don't know. I don't know if I get like pink lemonade I get more I don't know I don't get pink lemonade or blue raspberry from it it does smell good though like it's a good smell I just don't know what I'm getting from it but it's a good one then there's burger of the day which says grapefruit lavender and deep redwood this made me nervous oh god there's a little hamburger in it that's cute oh Okay, that's actually really good. Grapefruit, lavender, and deep redwood. I I feel like I'm like losing my mind. I don't smell any of that. Maybe the deep redwood. But I don't smell the lavender or the grapefruit. To me, this smells like baked goods, cinnamon, Cinnamon and baked goods, honestly. Like, that's what it smells like. It's really good. It, it does have, I do smell like, it's cinnamon and baked goods on top, and then it smells like the little bit of deep redwood. I can get that, like, kind of, like, more, like, masculine, like, underdote, but I do not smell any grapefruit or lavender, which, honestly, that is a scary scent combination, but this does smell really, really good. And then Louise is strawberry and melon so let's smell this one so this one oh she's the like little girl okay cool oh wow oh wow this smells like gum like i have had gum that smells like this and it smells good nick's gonna like die over this it it definitely smells like melon i don't know if i get the strawberry maybe a little bit of a light strawberry scent but i feel like it's a lot of melon with like a sugary sweet kind of vibe to it so it, i feel like it smells like bubble gum that i've had before like probably a gum that i really liked because i don't like a lot of gums unless they're like cinnamon i thought i heard something but i'm really happy with this order i love all of the smells and yeah so I'm excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna let Nick smell these and let's see what he thinks of them. I should actually do that one time. Me and Nick do like a little like scent haul. I think that'd be really cute. So that is everything in this little portion of the haul. So this is kind of one of those like random throw-ins to like my haul bits just because I'm cleaning up my desk and I want to get like everything put away. So I do have a small paper shire order and this is from whenever she opened back up from I believe her like filling her birthday sale orders. So this is the all orders freebie. I normally don't show the freebies because usually Bennett snatches them up before I could even like touch them. Um, but I usually do give him like the freebies that I won't use so that he can like play with the stickers because he loves stickers. This was 15 pound order plus and then I did pick up the Animal Crossing stickers I believe these are a little bit older um, but I don't think that I was into Animal Crossing then I'm actually like not playing Animal Crossing as much but I think like once fall update comes I'll probably play more I couldn't remember if I had these or not I think I do but I just picked up a sheet and then I was like literally dying over these these are the junk food doodles and I honestly don't even really eat that much junk food but I thought these were so stinking cute. Like some of my favorite stickers I think I've ever seen just because they look like little like Oreos and little Doritos. And actually like Corinne Doritos are my favorite, but like nacho will work. Is that a plane? Then I got the dip platters. So it looks like there's kind of like, you know, like a tr almost like a trio and then like some fries. And then the yummy dinners, which look like beef type meals, like ribs and like steak and sandwiches would just be perfect for like salt lake or something like that 
the yummy breakfast which just has so much good breakfast food i love the variety and also i have mentioned before that she did like change her sizing to smaller which is like beyond perfection and then also the emergency ones which i thought were really cute so you have like a little emergency kit a little sleeping bag and shoes some meds and then also a canned goods and the like cleaning with the mask so I thought those were really cute and her stickers are so affordable in my opinion and the shipping is really fast so definitely check out Paper Shire if you have not before okay so I have two quick things to show you and I'm showing you because I actually want to use these right now um so this is from Planner Press and I got some of their um punched dashboards so these I believe were like the diamond ones which are just like I guess frosted in a way I don't really know the difference they have three different there's like clear and then two different frosted ones these are the top tab they come with five tabs I really like how thin they are like they're obviously sturdy but they're not like hecka thick you know and then I also did get two packs of the side tabs and I plan on using these all for my um script storage so i plan to do a video on that probably in the end of september once i'm like fully happy with it but um really like these and they have like basically every single size that you could imagine which is super nice then i also did get an order in from wonton and a million she had like a little school themed release which i really just love like the whole crayola aesthetic of all of this so i just got some of this stuff that read very like Crayola-y to me. So the first thing is, and I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with any of this, but it's just really cute. So the first thing I got was this little plastic pocket and it looks like Crayola and I just like love the whole like Crayola aesthetic. I love crayons. Like as a kid, I loved just having a fresh box of crayons. Okay, I just wanna make sure that my address was not showing. Okay. So I did get this like card that it comes with. It's just really cute. I might actually use this for something like, you know, in Bennett's like scrapbook stuff. Um, and then there were these super cute little sticky notes. These have like the lined paper look in rainbow, which I thought was really cute. And then this one here, which has um, just like art supplies around, which I thought also was very cute. I did get one washi roll, which let me go ahead and show you guys. I really just loved the like crayon paint kind of vibes with like the primary colors with the Crayola aesthetic. Um, where is this scene? Here it is. So that is what this looks like. And I think it has, does it have foil on it? Yeah, it's rainbow foil, which I thought was really neat for the theme of this. So you can see that's what it looks like. Super stinking cute. This is probably one of my, my favorite themes that Cynthia has done. And then I did get one of these little labels. I should have gotten more. I think this was actually the last one of this label. Um, but you can use it for like labeling school stuff or whatever. And then I also did get these school bus stickers. Oh, there was another freebie in here which has um, just little like cute stuff come on there you go and then last but not least I did get these little crayon headers and I didn't plan to use them for headers but I planned to maybe use them as labels so I thought that would be a really cute idea for like school stuff or whatever you do have to use like special markers on them but I think for how cute these stickers are I definitely would do that and they're just all like individually cut headers so I did get two sheets of those and that is everything that I got from Wonton in a Million and Planner Press.